bacteria and you have had it. Everything that is happening is from heaven. I told you that during the weekend, everything happening in Nigeria is from heaven. It's not demonic. There is a strange wind. God is moving. If the rulers are sensitive, let them hear what the Lord is saying to them. And let them retrace their steps. Tonight, every yoke of Scorpio upon your life, we break it now. If you are carrying any burden, you should not be carrying. I command that burden to fall away from your shoulder. I rebuke the demon behind it. And I release you of that yoke in the name of Jesus. Somebody shout hallelujah. There is a new thing God is doing. As you enter your house today, the heavens above you will open. Amen. The earth beneath you will open. Amen. They will come to your aid. Amen. They will come for your, to your help. Amen. Receive help now. Amen. I say receive help now. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. It's a new day. Look, there is something very most important he said. He didn't say the seal was being opened. He said the seal has been opened. And if you notice since September when we did Rosh Hashanah, I told you we had entered a new season. We were not entering. We had entered. And since then, everything had changed. Everything had changed. Anything that is a wall standing against you right now, I condemn that wall in the spirit and I condemn it in the physical. Let it fall before you now in Jesus name. I didn't hear somebody shout amen. We are going to do something very quickly and close. It's going to be a prophetic action. But before we do that, because God commanded it tonight. God commanded and told me that this meeting must not be like the other meetings. We have fewer speakers. And so there is more space for God to do what he wants to do. Tradition and religion is thrown out of the window in this meeting. I want you to listen because it is very important. There is going to be a cry of youths here tonight. And every principality in the heavenlies and earthly places that had made an everlasting block, the Lord will descend and smash them. Are we ready for that shout tonight? But just before we go there, he said something about this season. He said, God is going into the deep to redeem spirits to redeem souls to redeem destinies three things i wrote them down god is walking the deep i don't know what has tied your neck down somewhere that your blessing cannot come i command that deep to give you up now In the name of Jesus Christ. I command you to begin to experience liberty now. Experience liberty now. Experience liberty now. Your soul. What is that that is toying with your mind? Influencing you. That you from within cannot set yourself free. Because that comes from the soul realm. The soul realm. When the soul shuts you down. Even if everybody brings you deliverance. You will not be delivered. Because it's controlling your entirety. Today. We break the chains and the padlocks. That have been used to shut down your soul. 
Be set free now. I said be set free now. In the name of Jesus. I didn't hear somebody shout amen. Your destiny is what makes you. Your destiny is what defines you. Ah! A man without destiny is like he never existed on earth. Because nothing comes to him. Nothing happens to him. Nothing follows him. Tonight, every blanket in your life, we lift away that blanket in Jesus' name. I'm going to pray last prayer on this matter. If you know you have been affected by this tree, this tree, and today you want to, want to hand over your spirit, your soul, and your destiny to the Lord, let him bring everything that judges you under judgment and begin to change the patterns of your life. I want you to go on your knees where you are. If you know, because you are too many here to come to the altar, Tomorrow we will have altar ministrations, but tonight I perceive in my spirit there are too many people, so we cannot bring you to the altar. But if you know God has to settle your case and open a new door for you and change what happens in your life forever, I want to go on that knee and tell the Lord, from the secret place of the deep, from underneath the earth, set my spirit free. From the pit of darkness, strange pit, I invoke the blood of Jesus to release me from the pit now. Can you begin to invoke the blood of Jesus to release you from the pit? Can you ask God to condemn every principality and throne that has condemned your life? That is attacking your life. That will not let you prosper. Or become what you ought to become. Tell the Lord to bring judgment. Tell him to redeem your spirit. Your soul. Let him go into the deep. And redeem your destiny. Threefold. When you are set free, everything around you is set free. Can you ask the blood of Jesus to declare liberty for you in every aspect of your life? Freedom, liberty. is the season of liberty, new foundations. Somebody plead the blood of Jesus now. Can you tell the Lord? I plead the blood of Jesus to bring me liberty now. Bring me liberty now. Somebody shout to the Lord, bring me liberty now. Bring me liberty now. By the blood of Jesus. By the blood of your resurrection. Bring me liberty now. Bring me liberty now. Bring me liberty now. I want somebody to shout the blood of Jesus. Can somebody shout the blood of Jesus? Can you tell the Lord tonight? I ask that the spirit in the blood 
bring me liberty now. Liberty in my spirit. Liberty in my soul. Liberty in my destiny. Liberty for my destiny, for my soul. I call it forth. I want the ushers to stop every movement. Everybody stand where you are. Nobody must go anywhere, move anywhere. And look at their hands as they try to leave. Everybody must stop where they are. It's prayer going on now. According to Hebrews chapter 9. Let the spirit in the blood go to war on your behalf. We are talking about the spirit of the Messiah now. The spirit in the blood is the spirit of the Messiah. Whatever the blood can do, whatever the Messiah can do, the spirit in his blood has done it for us. Can you say, Heavenly Father, by the spirit in the blood of Jesus, I disconnect from every entanglement, every witchcraft, every witchcraft that has limited my soul, that has shut down my soul, that has shut down my spirit, and has attempted my destiny in the name of Jesus. Overthrow them now. Overthrow them now. Overthrow them now. In Jesus' name. Somebody shout Amen. Can you rise up and begin to give thanks and just bless the Lord for the redemption that has come to us as a people tonight. Let's give him glory. Let's give him praise. Shekara Baba Basanta. Your name is called Emmanuel. Your God with us. We Your name is called Emmanuel. connect you to the spirit of that blood of redemption that spirit will take you home and destroy every hindrance in your life there will be war in the camps of your enemies I decree that in the name of Jesus tonight your celebration starts in the name of Jesus. Somebody shout hallelujah. Go ahead and give Jesus a big clap offering somebody. Tonight, this hall is just filled up with people standing all over the gates there. I had thought because this is a 16,000 sitting auditorium that if we did this spacing, we will get at least five, six thousand. And so we spread the chairs to cover five, six thousand. And now there is no space for people to sit. So I can wonder what will happen by next tomorrow. When all the fullness of the conference begins to come in. And all the glory of the Father begins to manifest everywhere. Tonight, 
I curse any robber that will attempt to rob from your life. I bring down the hand of God to keep them away from you for the rest of your life in Jesus' name. Somebody wave and shout hallelujah. sanctuary I welcome you to my house to my home to my community to my nation I welcome you to my life take over and reign take over and reign in the name of Jesus I didn't hear somebody say amen Sai kaji adu ata aba I just want to close what he, he has done because everything he said I already had them in the spirit and God said he was going to say most of those things and God said he will open these gates and you will bring the people and do this prophetic work. You said you will do this work. You will welcome me to my dispensation. To my season. To homes and families and nations. And I will enter into thrones. And every throne that is not my own, I will dethrone them. Today, as we pray this prayer, is there a miracle you have been waiting for that you have not received? And for many years, you have been patiently crying for that miracle. Tonight, let the gate of that miracle open. As we welcome the Messiah, let every impossibility become possible. In the name of Jesus. I didn't hear somebody shout amen. Can you put Matthew? 21 verse 9 on the screen. Let's see what is happening here tonight. Quickly. And then once we begin to pray, you will lay your lips at the feet of Jesus here on the altar. You will spread there and you will lie on the floor. And you will cry the same cry. But you will start that while you are still holding that leaf. The cry there was Hosanna. We are welcoming the Lord today with a shout of Hosanna. We are welcoming him into this season, this new dispensation. I call it, like he said, oh, we are going to continue where he stopped tomorrow. 
It's a new dispensation. We have entered into it. A seal has been broken. And when a seal is broken, the deep rises from the place of that seal. Every hidden secret of God, every hidden power of God rises to proclaim the new season. Ah! May those spirits visit you in your house with blessings. What does Matthew 21 verse 9 say? Then the multitudes who went before and those who followed cried out. This was when Jesus was entering into Jerusalem as the Messiah in the glory of prophecy. In the glory of his commission. Jerusalem was his last point of call before he goes back to heaven. My friend, before he comes back, you are the last point of his call. Oh, the church, this latter day's church, they are the last point of his call before rapture takes place. We don't know how long this will last. But a portal has been opened. God is visiting men now as the Messiah. God is visiting men in the name of the Messiah. Everything from now henceforth, it is Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Somebody shout Jesus! Is the revelation of the Messiah is the thinking of the Messiah is the redemption of the Messiah it's the symbolism of the Messiah everything that happens now is a symbol of the Messiah now look at that scripture as he entered Jerusalem what did they say there and those who followed cried out saying everybody now Hosanna to the son of David, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the heart. Hosanna, Hosanna. Somebody shout Hosanna seven times. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna. Hosanna, 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 Hosanna. We shout this to acknowledge this face we have entered. Everywhere your house, on your houses, the name Hosanna will be ringing in the air. Now, listen. What is the meaning of the name Hosanna? That day they were shouting, Hosanna, Hosanna. And some of you think it was just sounding nice. You think it was children's play. The Bible says children. He went back to the innocent ones. Not old people who will argue with him. They were the ones that carried those palms. The Bible says his own disciples removed their clothes and put it on the ass for him to ride on some of them put their garments on the floor because they were ushering in salvation for israel tonight salvation will follow you to your house as we raise that cry tonight God will open doors that you have never seen in your lifetime. Hosanna means praise. That is the first basic meaning of the word Hosanna. Praise. Praise. Praise to him that is worthy to be praised. Praise. Praise. Now, but Hosanna means a second thing. 
as he was coming, they knew the Messiah was the one coming. They already heard of him in Galilee. Listen. Hosanna means, oh, save us now. Save now. Save now. Somebody shout, save now. Save. 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 That means everywhere you enter from now henceforth, instant miracles and instant answered prayers will follow you. That means we have entered into the season of save. 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 Now, listen. That is the meaning of Hosanna. So when you sound, you use the word Hosanna, you're actually saying two things in the spirit. You are shouting, Hallelujah. Save now. That means you are celebrating your salvation that has come. They were celebrating the salvation that was entering Jerusalem. Jerusalem, it was a division of faith, will never be the same again. But why were they saying save now? Because that day, they noticed that Jesus was not coming alone. He was coming with all of the heavens. The carpenters were following him. The angels of war who attack violent people were following him. Healing was following him. Everything man needed in their existence were following him. All the treasures of heaven, all the workers of heaven, there were thousands and thousands of angels. Jesus never walks alone. That is why even before Pilate, he said, Ah, the angels are just interceding that I should release them to deal with you. My faith is not in your hands. I have power to lay my life and I have power to take it back. Because the whole of heaven is gathered here tonight. My friend, let God open your eyes to see how this building is surrounded. How do I know this? How do I know this? You think I just saw this by revelation? Put Mark 11 verse 10 on the screen. So that you get the full interpretation there. Mark 11, Mark chapter 11, Mark chapter 11, verse 10. Blessed is the kingdom of our father David that comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. A kingdom was following him. The revelation of the Messiah David saw the kingdom of David, don't forget Israel, was expecting God to restore the physical kingdom, a political kingdom. And they expected him to use all the powers of heaven by a miracle. Pam, all the Romans will have died. With one fling of his finger, all the Jews who had betrayed him will die. And a new kingdom will begin. They were expecting a miraculous one because he has been doing all the strange miracles. They had read in prophecy that when the Messiah comes, he will set up a kingdom for them. So that day they knew that he was coming in the power of all his angels. And that is why they added that word, save. Save. Do you know that day, anybody who needed a miracle got a miracle. If you need an instant miracle now, just touch your, your, your heart or your chest. And right this moment, I release the hand of the Messiah into your life. I release his spirit into your life. 
to save you now. Can you shout while your hand is on that on, on that chest? Can you shout save now? Save now. Save now. Save now. Save now. Save now. Save now. That means from now this new season that the seal has been broken, you will not be able to count the miracles that happen to you. Because they will be recurrent. They will just be coming one after the other. They, so that you do not, you, you will just know God goes, God's goodness has overwhelmed you. Invite everybody you need to invite for this conference because we are in the season of save. Jesus, thank you, Lord. So, when they carried that palm in praise, the Bible says they laid it on the ground, shouting, Save now. Shouting hallelujah, praise, save, now. That means all praise is given unto him. Let him save, now. They wanted the yoke of the enemy removed from their necks. They wanted the yoke of the Romans removed from their necks. They wanted the yokes of the Pharisees. The religious principalities and witches of their time. They wanted their yoke removed from their necks. Tonight, I don't know what is that that is condemning against your soul. I present that thing to the Messiah. And I command the yoke of that thing to be broken now. Are we all ready now? We are going to welcome him back tonight into his new face. We are going to acknowledge the new season that has been opened by repeating what they did. By shouting, Hosanna! Hosanna! Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. Can you remember those words? Put it on the screen, the Matthew 21.9. Put it on the screen, please, quickly. When I say put it on the screen, one second, it should be there. Matthew 21, 9. Have you folded up for the night? Everybody say, Hosanna to the son of David. Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. I know the Hausa people, the Hausa churches, they have a song like that there. Hosanna God and Dauda. La 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 la. Somebody shout hallelujah. Don't you know that each time you are singing that song, you are opening a portal of miracles. A doorway of blessing. Those who, that, that, that word was not only a praise, it was a prayer. It was not only a praise. I want to repeat. It was a what? A prayer. On one hand, they lifted him as the son of God. On the other hand, they brought their request. Save us now. Salvation has come. We receive it now. Not later. Shall we all rise up on our feet, everybody? 
in case you are sitting. It was not done seated. It, 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 it was not done lacadaisically. Those of you who are not holding the palms, can you raise your right hand and say, Heavenly Father, tonight from the throne of my heart, I welcome the Messiah. The dispensation of the Messiah in the earth. The beginning of the dispensation of the power of the Messiah. And I proclaim before him. Hosanna to the son of David. Please put the thing on the screen. At least one screen or two. Let them see it. Hosanna to the son of David. Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Can you shout amen? amen. Now we are going to take that seven times one more time. And at the end, we will take it from that place. Hosanna to the son of David. Blessed is he. We are going to follow the scripture we are reading back. We are just entering into the spirit of that day. We want to awaken that spirit in the Messiah. So that he follows us home. Hovering over us. When they are tabaku, they are Kuna jina kwa bakashe wa bafa yankashe ka ambar jikin ka at least ambar ka da wani abu zai parfashe ka ne zai cincinke kome eh somebody shout hallelujah i'm saying if anything will challenge you tonight Eh? Eh? God will not only kill that thing that will be too merciful what will he will do he will scatter their pieces he will remove them while they are alive he will remove the air, remove the nose and the man is still alive, pluck out the eyes remove the teeth open the brain and remove them one by one Tonight, so shall it be upon anything that comes against you. Can you just lift up those hands and bless him for this dispensation, this seal that has been broken. He showed us from the scripture the first thing that was done was that a seal that seal was not named it was not followed chron chronologically one of the seals was broken can you thank God tonight for that seal that opens the Messiah to me to you that opens the gates of the Messiah tonight just bless the Lord. Give him glory. Give him praise. Can you invite him to come into his sanctuary? Come into your life. His sanctuary is your life, your body. Come into your sanctuary and reign. Can you put that scripture? Tell him to come into your house and reign. Enter your office. And repair everything. Your home. Let him start now. Can you say Lord I welcome you today. And somebody can we begin that shout. That releases him into our houses. Our compounds. The shout that Jerusalem welcomed him with. The shout that brought salvation to Israel. 
somebody Hosanna to the son of David blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord Hosanna in the higher number two Hosanna to the son of David blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord Hosanna number three Hos to the son of David blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord Hosanna in the highest number four Hosanna to the son of David blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord Hosanna in the highest number five Hosanna to the son of David blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord Hosanna number six Hosanna to the son of David blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord Hosanna now take a breath can you thank him for the spirit of the Messiah as you take your breath thank you for your Holy Spirit thank you for your spirit that is at work in this season I just give you glory Thank you for your spirit that carries me from here. That takes care of my every need. That watches over me. That fills my soul with plenty. My mouth with plenty. My cup runneth over. Thank you for the spirit of help. Thank you. We are going to take the seventh shout. And then we will take a mini eight one. What I call eight one. We are not stopping at the seventh. But the eighth one will be different. The eighth one will just be shouting Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna. When we shout it three times, we will shout Hosanna in the highest. Blessed the seed that cometh in the name of the Lord. And then the shofars will start blowing there. Are we ready? Are we ready? And you, while we do that, you will be waving it unto him. Father, we welcome you tonight. We welcome you to our homes, our lives. We welcome you to our nations. We welcome you to Africa. We welcome you to Asia. We welcome you to North and South America. Lord, we welcome you to the Antarctica. We welcome you to all the continents of the earth. We welcome you into our seas and our rivers and the spirits behind our governments. In the name of Jesus. Can we proclaim that seventh one with a shout, everybody? Hosanna! Hosanna to the son of David. Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Hallelujah. Everybody shout now. Hosanna. 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 Hosanna in the highest. Somebody shout hallelujah. I want you to drop that on the altar here. Just drop it on the altar. Somebody shout hallelujah. Drop it on the altar there. Can you step back a little? Now listen, instead of lying down, can you just step back a little and just kneel down? Kneel down. That altar is too, it's too small for you to be lying down. Just kneel down. I want all of us to stretch our hands towards the altar. Can we ask the Lord, in this season, save now. Save in my family. Save in the uh, 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 save in our country 
save in the continent, save in America, save anything that is helpless, everything that has lost hope, save now, intervene now. We welcome you, Lord, as Hosanna. Intervene now. Intervene now. Save. Save. Everybody open your mouth now. As you stretch your hands towards Jerusalem, can you ask the Lord, save now. Save. Save. And if you need a healing, tell the Lord about that healing and ask him to save now. You need the miracle of a child? Tell God about that need. Ask him to save now. Your organization needs help. Your business needs help. Ask him to save now. And as you pray, tell him, Hosanna in the highest, save now. 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 Father, tonight, we build an altar of salvation in the nations of the earth and we ask you to save now. Save now. Save now. Save now. Save now. Hosanna in the highest. We recognize your open gate your open portal from the heavens that has opened a dispensational opening of salvation to us. And we declare today, save now. Let this conference become the doorway of your salvation to the nations of the earth. Oh God, Hosanna in the highest, save now. Everybody shout Hosanna in the highest, save now. Hosanna in the highest, save now. Hosanna in the highest, save. Hosanna in the highest, save now. Hosanna in the highest, save now. Hosanna in the highest, save now. Hosanna in the highest, save. Hosanna in the highest, save now. Can everybody shout Amen? Amen. Therefore, wherever you are standing or seated or kneeling, your gates are open today. I declare to you a new dispensation. A new season of healing. A new season of deliverance. A new season of restoration. A new season of glory. No one shall lose his mate. No one shall lose his miracle. In the name of Jesus Christ. Can you rise up and begin to give God glory for tonight? Let's give him praise. Thank you. Thank you, Father. We give you glory. We have an anchor that's in our soul. Steadfast and sure, why don't we lose Fast into the rock which cannot move, grounded firm and deep in the Savior's love. We have an anchor that keeps the soul steadfast. 
For the seal of the Holy Spirit. That today Lord by the covenant of our seed. Everywhere we enter. The seal is broken. Therefore the gates of heaven is open to us continually. And nothing that we desire of the master. We shall not lack anything. That we desire of the master. We welcome the open heavens. The open gates of heaven upon our lives. Can you thank God for remembering you. And remembering our nation. Tonight the Lord has entered into our nation. Things will never be the same. Let the Lord seal up your life. And establish every word in the list that the speaker of tonight. Every list he listed. Let that miracle happen to you. Returning and restoring everything in your life. Receive those blessings in Jesus name. Can you thank God again for the miracle tonight? The miracle in your body, your house, your home. Miracle of employment. Save now. Hosanna. Save now. Hosanna in the highest. Save now. Remember that prayer when you kneel down. When you don't know which words to pray. How to pray. Just say Hosanna in the highest. Save now. Father you know where these pains are coming from. Hosanna in the highest. Save you know where these troubles are coming from. Hosanna in the highest. Save. That should be the pattern of your prayer. And the spirit of the Messiah will take it from you. Because Hosanna is one of the names of the Messiah. Hosanna 